Hey there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Today, going to be cooking some molokhia in burgle. Molokhia is a green um, vegetable, also known as Egyptian spinach, that is consumed throughout the Middle East, but particularly associated with Egyptian cooking. And it can be challenging. You can find it frozen or fresh. I happen to find it fresh around Damascus Gate in Jerusalem. So I'm using fresh molokhia for this recipe. So in order to get the molokhia, it comes in a big bag as you can see and I just grabbed enough for kind of a large um, handful like this. Um, it does keep in the fridge for a number of days, but it's still, you want to wash it pretty thoroughly. So I just put it in one of these gastronome pans, AKA chef pans, uh, put some water on top and just kind of rinsed it off to make sure it was uh, clean. And then we want to chop as, ver as finely as possible our molokhia. So I took the molokhia, just got the last bit of water off and then transferred it to a chopping board. Uh, thereupon I began the molokhia chopping process. Now um, we're going to be making molokhia with bulgur today. So I'm measuring out one cup of medium bulgur. There's also fine, fine bulgur and coarse bulgur. It's also called burgel, depending where you are in the world, but it's all the same thing. It's a uh, sun-dried parboiled wheat. So likewise for burgle, I always uh, clean it like this, put some water on top and then uh, get it off. So both our ingredients should be uh, prepped. So I'm gonna take my molokhia now, which as I said, I've washed, put that onto a chopping board and then begin the chopping process. And uh, this can take a little while, so you need a bit of patience. Some people use a food processor to get their molokhia really fine for different recipes like molokhia and chicken or molokhia and rice or molokhia soup. I'm just using a chef's knife. I'm using a Victorinox chef knife and just kind of chopping at it for a few minutes. I didn't get it like 100% fine, but I got it kind of down to a decent enough fineness that leaves wouldn't get stuck in your teeth when you're consuming. Now, by the way, I don't know if you could use this for a tabula. Um, I reckon you could, but it will have a very different taste when it's uh, not cooked. Now, as you chop up the molokhia, just be aware that it does get a bit sticky. Uh, that is a chemical reaction basically occurring. It's uh, Molokhia's natural defenses. So I then grabbed the Molokhia. You can see it's now literally sticking to my hands. And I just uh, transferred it into another bowl. Try not to lose too much of the ingredient um, if you can. And this is just a general, very, very general recipe of one large handful. If you want to have more Molokhia and less burgo, then uh, you could use two, handful of, two handfuls of Molokhia and just add a bit more water. Now for this recipe, it's almost like a mujedra. It's a very, very simple uh, recipe. I just used half a white uh, onion and I chopped it uh, somewhat finely on a chopping board. We're then going to transfer this into a the Instant Pot. Set the Instant Pot on saute mode for five minutes or seven minutes if you want to get the onions that bit more brown and then we're gonna saute them and then we're gonna add in the burgle and the molokhia. So I transferred the onion into our instant pot and for spicing I simply used half a tablespoon approximately of cumin and salt to taste. You might want to use other spices or add more salt. Uh, this isn't really a very, this is kind of how I cook is in sort of broad brush strokes rather than exact recipes. So I cooked it for five minutes, got some kind of nice color on the onions and then decided it was time to bring in or burgle. So I added the bulgur into the instant pot and then I'm adding 2.5 cups of water on top of it. For bulgur in the instant pot, I typically do one to two. So I added an extra half a cup of water because the molokhia kind of sucks up water as it cooks. So I then just kind of made sure the molokhia was spread out throughout the burgle. And then I'm going to take off the saute mode and put it onto pressure cooking mode. And I did 10 minutes. You could probably get away with seven minutes and it'd be a bit more firm, the burgle. And that is it, we are done. This is our burgle molokhia cooked in the instant pot. You could also replicate this recipe on the stove, of course. And this is how the finished product looked. The molokhia is kind of just spread throughout the instant pot, the, the burgle. And if you get it even finer, it'll be uh, even more nicely spread. And you can just kind of mix it up after. Um, I'm using this as a side dish for a dinner. So I'm j I just plated it into a bowl for serving. And this is one use you can make of fresh molokhia or frozen molokhia. For you, if you haven't had molokhia before, it certainly has a distinctive taste, almost a bit like okra. Definitely not something everyone loves, but I, I enjoy it. And uh, if you want to make this a little bit more tasty, a little bit more exciting, you could add some lemon juice and olive oil just to jazz it up a little bit further. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this recipe was interesting. Feel free to continue to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos.